हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ वी सेट अप विजुअल स्टूडियो कोड फॉर द प्ले राइट्स ओके सो व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन द दिस वीडियो सो दीस आर द पॉइंट्स आई विल इंस्टॉल द विजुअल स्टूडियो कोड देन लॉन्च विजुअल स्टूडियो कोड ओके so open existing playwright project okay then i will install the playwright extension in the visual studio code then i will show how we run debug playwright test using the extension how we record the new test using the playwright extension then i will show you how we capture the selectors using the playwright and then i will show how we run all the test using the playwright extension so playwright extension will play very important role here to execute to debug to record the test script okay so let's start now so we have visual studio code this is the official url okay you can see the code visualstudio.com download you need to visit this url okay then we have here the installer okay for the windows mac and linux so i am using here the windows machine and i am going to show you how we set up on the windows but if you need to set up on the linux or mac there is a different installer so for the windows machine we can download from here so click okay so download is started it will take few second to download okay yes yeah, so download is completed now click the installer file and you will see it will start installing so click on the radio button accept the agreement click on next button okay this is going to install under the admin means your user full app directory click on next next so here there are some default options leave is it as it is click on next then click on install it will take few second to install the visual studio code in the system okay now we have here finish button installation done successfully there is a check box launch visual studio code so it is by default selected so if i click on finish visual studio will automatically launch next time if you need you can directly search from your system and launch the visual studio code now we have next step install playwright extension okay so if we want to install the playwright extension in the visual studio code we have option here in the left side there is a extension menu click on this okay and go to the search input field play uh, search playwright first option you can see this is the playwright test for vs code click on install button okay this is now installs successfully once the it will install you will see the i one icon here this is testing click on this okay so now visual studio playwright test plugin extension is installed in the visual studio code now next step we need to open the existing project okay you can do anything first you uh, can open the existing playwright code and then install okay this is one time activity to install the playwright extension okay so now let me open the folder of the project go to the open folder 
so in the last tutorial i created the project under the demo folder so let's me navigate okay so this is the folder location where we have like last time created the playwrights test okay let me click on the select button you will see it will open the playwright project okay so there is a test folder under the test there is example test is available this is auto generated script okay and now if i go in the test testings okay you will see there is options like test automatically reflected here so next step how we run the and debug playwright test using extension okay once you open your project then go to the testing option here click on this you will see the test explorer package is displayed now if you want to run the test select your test file or the test right and there you can see button run test debug test and this is the go to the test or file level you have also three buttons run test debug test and go to the test so if you want to run the test just click on the run test button you can see this is started running so by default now this is running in headless mode okay and you can see there is a green signal test is done successfully for debug mode if we run it will launch the browser in headed mode so let me run click on this you can see the browser is launched by default it will run on the chromium browser okay and passed one test now if you want to use the debug option let's add a breakpoint i added here breakpoint and now go to go and click on the debug test i clicked here you will see by default it will run on chromium browser in headed mode okay headed mode means you can see the browser here you can see the browser is launched and it is stopped at the debugger point at breakpoint so now on the top you can see we have option to play so when i click on this then our code will continue and execute we have option here step over here we have step into step over if i click on this it will move the next code of the same page so there is a button step into if i click then it will go into the playlight library level also and if i click on this step out it will return back we have option here to restart it will restart the execution and if i click on the play it will continue so these debugger option we can use to debug our test script okay and we have also here the stop button if i click stop button execution will stop okay so these options will be very helpful in if we want to debug our test now next next option we have how we record the new test using the playwright extension so here is a record new button if i click it will start the browser okay this is the chromium browser by default it will launch the chromium browser and anything if we navigate here you will see that will automatically capture here in this test so it playwright added one new test test hyphen one dot spec file dot ts new test is added if i perform any action here like i am navigating the url then i go to click on the create new account button and then here i am adding like first name last name mobile number so email id okay then we have here
here new password okay selected the drop down value so all these you can see automatically captured in the playwright and stored in the test script so all these steps what we perform that is automatically is captured and stored here now our test script is script is, is ready we can run this test and verify how we run same option we can use run test click on this you will see test is started running next how we capture selectors using the playwright extension so playwright has extension here in this we have option to pick the selector to get the selector so how we do that just click here okay it will launch the browser you can see now chromium browser is launched so call the entering the facebook.com navigating the url okay see so if i click on any field you can see as a tool tip it's generating some code like get by test id and there is a royal underscore email here is underscore password and here we have login button so if i click here and go to our code you will see on the top there is a pick selector option is and in the input box we can get the code this code we can use where we need and at which step we need like we can call page dot get test by id here we can call method like if you want to call the click then we can call the click method and similar type what method we need for that particular steps we can use so runtime we can capture the locators by using the pick selector button so this will be very helpful to generate the locator and uh, then we have next options here reveal the test output if i click you will see the test output on the terminal there is option to close all the browsers so if any browser is open if i click here it will close automatically now next option we have how to run all tests using playwright extension so on the top in the test explorer section you will see there is a button right play button this is run test so if i click all the tests will run similar type we have option to debug the test let me click run all run test you will see it is started running all the to both tests right if we have more tests that will also run parallel on the console you can see two passed running two test using two workers and both test pass okay so hope this will be helpful and uh, if you like my video so please share this to your friends colleagues as well as subscribe the channels and click on the like button and uh, if you have any questions any query add leave a comment i will reply